Good morning and welcome to the Friday workout, which is Fitness Friday. We're going to do our 10,000 steps today, guys. Are you excited? So we're live from London. I'm not using my no normal get-up. I've got my normal get-up on underneath. But because we're in the hotel, I've got my robe on, my Conrad robe. I've got my lovely slippers. We've got some great music, which is linked to this amazing TV. We've got our bottled water, our wine glasses. Morning, Christina. Morning, Jamie. Very posh, yes. We're enjoying our birthday. Morning, Aaron. Kieran's alive. Liam's alive. Morning, Helen. Are you joining me today, guys? So, get your Fitbit trackers on. Currently, I'm on 8, 490. Let's go, guys. Listen to the beat. So we are together for the next hour and a half. I might give you a little room tour. We've got loads to talk about. It's gonna be a fun morning, guys. Let me read out the comments. Aaron, you get about a very expensive hotel. Even with stuff discount, this one was 75 quid. God knows how much it was, full price. I hope you all saw my afternoon tea that I had for my birthday yesterday. And the canapes, they were all complimentary items in the executive lounge. Imagine getting that quality of food just as part of your package. This is the sort of place Boris Johnson stays, by the way. Just out of that window is Buckingham Palace. Just that way is Westminster. We're like in most, the most expensive area in London. Jamie is saying yes, but we'll have to leave half past to do school run. Okay, no problem. Just do as much as you can. Oh, and then you're doing the 5K run tomorrow. Great, Jamie. So you're gonna be with Liam. Helen, yes, 75 pound for one night, bed and breakfast. Aaron is saying stuff discount. <laughs> yes, Aaron, that's how we get it. But I am leaving Hilton at the end of this month. So this is why we've gone for the best hotel. Save the best till last and all that. Right, let's get some water down us. So today, we will be drinking out of the wine glass. And of course, we'll be having the highest quality water out of a glass bottle. So if you'd like to celebrate my birthday with me right now, get yourself a wine glass, pour yourself some water. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Right. So we've got some different music today as well. The artist and the title will be on the screen behind me. There is a little bit of a, a glare though. Let me find out which light I need to turn off. One moment. Is that better? That's a little bit better, isn't it? Right. Oh, so Jamie's already done her hour cardio at five this morning. Did you do it with Liam? He was up at that time, wasn't he? Uh, Aaron's saying stuff discount for all the hotels. No, all the hotels in the world, not just the UK, Aaron. Helen, that's cheap. I know. Okay, Liam's back. So let's get stepping, guys. If you have got a wine glass full of water like me, be careful. Right, so we are going to do two litres. 
there's two liters of water on that table so I will not be leaving this Facebook live until it's done so Liam did 3,000 steps this morning by 6 a.m. right so I want you to look at my face guys I took lots of photos yesterday before I arrived and as you probably saw my face was looking slim very very healthy yesterday I had a little bit of rosé wine a bit of Prosecco and a beer and of course those sweet cakes and look at me this morning all my face is puffed up no spots or patches yet but I just feel like bloated in my face. So for those of you that drink alcohol, who eat sugar, this is the power of sugar and alcohol, guys. It shows in your face straight away and you just feel awful. So that's the bad news. The good news is doing exercise, drinking that water will get that shit away. <laughs> So if you haven't been drinking, if you've had some sugar yesterday, get the water down and obviously exercising will also help your body detox. Nobody likes to feel awful. Right, Jamie. No, but I was on my phone to him, ha ha, early risers. We love a good early riser. Aaron, so what? Is that part of them, just Hilton or Ebony Company in Hilton Hotels, mate? So Hilton, his name is Conrad Hilton. So all his hotels are called Hilton. And then he's got a couple of extra special ones, which are five star and above. And he calls them his first name, Conrad. So this is why this one's called Conrad, because it's one of the executive Hiltons and they use his first name. I'm surprised none of the hotel chains are called Paris after his lovely daughter. <laughs> I think that would be probably the three star rate. <laughs> Cheap and cheerful like Paris. Right, Aaron says, no swearing please, Mr. Bunting. I did only say shit. I would never say the F word, don't worry, Aaron. <laughs> I think shit's okay. <coughs> yes, Helen, I'm leaving at the end of the month from St. George's Park just to focus more time on Slim Brother. I won't be wearing this robe for the whole workout. Let's get it off now, guys. So, let's get rid of that. Oh, that feels nice. That was really weighing me down. I'll leave my slippers on. Although it's a very nice carpet here. Aaron saying, uh, no discount for Premier Inn and Travel Lodge. Hilton have got their own brand of lower hotels, which is Double Tree, Garden Inn, and Travel Something, not Travel Lodge. I can't remember what it's called. Right, I can see the lovely sun coming out. To be honest, my view out the window is not that amazing, but I can see the top of one of those Westminster buildings. So we'll have a little look out there later, guys, when we get bored of the great TV. Right, listen to that beat. How's the music, guys? Do you need me to turn it up? Follow the beat. Have you got your slippers on? I've got mine on. Maureen, Claire was up at six this morning. She's working today, so she's gone off to work. Morning, Wendy. What was the sleep like? This bed is so bouncy. 
it was it was like sleeping on a pillar on a uh, cloud. Amazing. It's even got like a gold like trim on the edge of the the bedding. Photos will be online later, guys. The reason I'm in a rush to finish this workout today, I've got breakfast waiting for me downstairs. Half nine. I'm looking forward to it. Aaron saying, why did Claire sleep? We've got a very large bed. We did sleep in the same bed. Just don't tell a boyfriend. <laughs> a boyfriend doesn't like it. He was all right here, until he found out he had a daughter. And he was like, you sleep in the same bed as a guy who's got a daughter. <laughs> it's hard for people to understand. But all my friends, I think they understand. No problem. I'm not like most men who just couldn't sleep in the same bed as a girl without doing something. Especially when one who snores like Claire does. <laughs> right, guys. Helen's saying, I hope someone's bedrooms underneath can't hear you walking on the floor but as I said this is the reason I'm wearing slippers and it's a really thick carpet so I don't think I'm disturbing anyone and this is a good teaching point guys so what we don't want to be doing is we don't want to be slamming our feet on the floor bend your knees your toes should be touching the floor first then your heels so your motion with your foot should be like that. And that way, you won't be disturbing anyone underneath you. Shall we do a check on the steps? And then we need to get some of that water down us. Right, we are 18% of the way there guys. We've done 1,800 steps. Let's get a drink. <sighs> they might be having bonky bonky. What, are the people downstairs? Right. Looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day today, guys. Oh, I've just noticed. I can actually see the top of Big Ben out the window. Yeah, so literally, um, Big Ben is there. I will show you shortly, guys. Liam's saying, not me. Is that Liam confirming that we didn't sleep in the same bed together? Even though he did have a double bed. Liam was on the sofa for two days last week. And then we swapped. A, because he didn't sleep well on the sofa. And B, I wanted him to get into a real routine. Which is not perfect yet. We're getting there though. Right, good morning everyone. I can see at the top, I think it's Mel, hi Mel. I can see Aaron's little picture up there. Liam is saying, we didn't. I've got someone glaring, oh cleaning my flat. I know, not Monica. <laughs> I didn't reply to your message about that yet, Liam. Cleaning your own flat will do more steps for you. <laughs> I'm getting them thumbs up in. Thank you, Aaron. Yeah, if you're not, if you're watching but you're not stepping, press the heart button, press the thumbs up button, show us some love. Mel, morning. Are you joining in? 
or are you just there for the show? <laughs> I might try and do this streaming onto my TV at home, guys. I think it is nice. A, you can see what the song is. It also shows you the beats per minute. So we're currently on 133 beats per minute. I like having all this space. The props in today's video. In my bathroom, they have this lovely plant. So I thought I'd put it here. We've also got some tissues. Does anybody need to mop their brow? Would you like me to mop your brow, guys? Imagine it's that sweat's disappearing. I'll just check. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Conrad. Right, Mel is not stepping. Well, thank you for showing us the love and support, Mel. Aaron is saying, you see my profile photo of me and my little boy. He's nearly three years old now. Aww. Is he awake? Is that why you get up early, Aaron? Or are we on night shift last night? Wendy, it's a money tree plant. Oh, is it? Right, I didn't realize that. Conrad must love a bit of money tree. So for those of you who have financial issues, I'll give it a little bit of a reel, have a wish, you say your wish, I'll give it a rub, I'll also give it a kiss, and there we go guys, your financial problems should be disappearing. Right, let's finish this water. And we'll go on to our next one. Right guys, we're half a litre down. I think these are 500, oh, they're only 330 ml bottles. Lucky for you, I bought from home an extra litre as well. So we'll have that as well guys, or half of that. Mel's off out now. I have to do food shops for OAPs. Okay, happy shopping. You'll get your steps in that way. Liam's saying, I'm done for a minute. Okay, you have done steps earlier, so that's okay. Aaron, night shift, permanent nights, as you know. I feel for you, Aaron. Holistically, it's not good. But you know, generally, you get paid more on night shift. So I know financially, if you get yourself a money tree, you might not need to work nights anymore. Aaron's all saying, you know, Monday to Friday, week in, week out, 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Hardcore. The best thing for when I work night shift at the Olden Towers Hotel, it made me buy blackout curtains. It made me buy some 100% cotton sheets, some feather duvets. It really made me research how to get a good night's sleep. So Aaron, if you do find it hard to sleep, there's lots of little tips to help you. And the biggest one is to make sure your room that you're sleeping in is 17 degrees. So it should be cool. Now the reason I had the robe on earlier is because we've got air conditioning in this room. It's currently on 16 degrees and the big fan vent is behind me. So when we started I was a little bit cool. That's why I had the robe on. But right now, it's feeling good. I'll just repeat my question guys. Do you want the music turning up? Can you hear me? Can you hear the music? Have you got that beat going? Tina, you got a wine glass. This is a remix of Ariana Grande. Love this song. Right, Liam's saying, 
having a breather, I'll carry on. When you leave a comment, it has got a little green logo next to it. That obviously means that you're watching live. I've noticed that Liam hasn't got a green logo by his name. <laughs> so he's either playing on his phone, chatting to someone else, or he is having a break. Right, Aaron, my boy, don't want me to sleep when I want to sleep. He wants me to run around, of course. Again, this is the issue with night shift. You're literally living an opposite life to everyone else. Right, how are our feet, guys? Unless you've got a hard floor, if you've got a carpeted floor, it's really healthy to walk in bare feet. So it will make sure your natural muscles are being used. So don't be shy to wear soft slippers or just bare feet. Oh, Liam is here. I know this Wendy Fletcher. I know her, do I? Sorry, Wendy. Should I really be getting at least eight hours of sleep a day? Yes, but when you work night shift, it's impossible. It's better to focus, Aaron, on the quality of your sleep. So if you've got a Fitbit tracker, it will tell you the percentage of deep sleep. So it's really important to get at least one hour's deep sleep every night, which as I said, is almost impossible when you work nights. But try. The blackout curtain should be the best thing to help. And obviously lock the door, turn your phone off, turn off all the electricity in that room. Make it a sleep haven, Aaron. And all those tips are good for anyone that can't sleep. Turn your phone off and don't charge it next to your head as well, guys. For those of you who didn't see, Liam did a little bit of a joke on me last night. He sent me when I was sleeping last night a massive picture of cake, chocolate cake, with some cream, and said, oh, I'm really sorry, but I caved in. When I woke up at four o'clock this morning, I was livid. I'm not gonna swear, Aaron, but I was really effing livid. <laughs> and I sent back to him, I said, oh, really? So you won't be losing weight this week. And I said, if you continue to be, you, I said you need to be stronger and if you're not gonna be stronger, we need to change your eating plan. And then he was like, it's a joke, it's a joke. I was livid. If you don't know why I was livid, guys. As you know, a very chilled out person. I tried to coach in a friendly, supportive way. But I lived with Liam last week. So obviously, I'm being a bit more stricter with him than I am with my usual clients. I think he found it hilarious. Look, this carpet is so strong. I can jump and twist. Don't break the glass. <laughs> the floor's fine, but the glass has got made for jumping. Sorry. I'll oh, calm down. Calm down. Right, Vicky Ross is here. Morning, Vix. You may not be able to come to my classes, Vix, because you live literally the other end of the country. But you can join us online, darling. Right, let me catch up on the comments. Did, oh, did Claire piss the bed? Is that what you're asking me, Liam? Uh, no. I normally get up at four. I often get up at four. Oh, we've got loads of comments. Have I missed something? 
Uh, Tina, I did ask you something. I said, have you got your wine glass, darling? Not full of wine, hopefully. Have you got a wine glass of water? I'd like you all to do that this morning as a belated birthday gift. Right, let me catch up on the comments. Uh, 17 degrees, yes, uh, Liam, that is essential. Where are we? I love it when you comment, guys, but I just need to catch up on them. And it's also hard to march and read. <laughs> Right. Where are we? Right, so 17 degrees. It's not that cold, Aaron. Twenty. Oh, that's tw twenty is cold for you. Yeah, so in the daytime, obviously have it warmer, but just in the evening turn it down a little bit. The comments seem to be going here and there and everywhere. Let me just go to the latest comments and I'll just catch up on those. Um, right, so Tina has got a mug of hot water. Great, Tina. To be honest, I've only got a wine glass because literally it was on that table <laughs> with the water. Liam is saying bloody. What are you bloodying at? How many did you set? Set what? Right, Wendy's saying the Jaya had the cake. That's good. But just a little message for Jaya. Please don't eat that in front of Liam. <laughs> it's a bit like me licking a six pack in front of Liam and not giving him a bit. <laughs> it's just unfair. <laughs> not that I've got a six pack. Aaron. Yes. But the Fitbit actually accurate. And what do you mean by deep sleep? I will show you. You know, it's sort of accurate. I'll get my Fitbit app and show you exactly what I mean. By the way, we are 33,600 calories in. So if you go down to sleep, it shows you there your quality of sleep. And in blue, it tells you your deep sleep. So yesterday I had 46 minutes of deep sleep, which was 13% of my night. My heart rate, by the way, is currently on 118. Oh, my slippers coming off. Keep marching. I didn't set any alarms, Liam. Aaron says, is it accurate? It's a rough guide, better than nothing. But the most important thing, Aaron, is when you wake up from sleep, how do you feel? If you feel rested, that's a great sign. If you wake up and you don't feel rested, then there's something wrong. For instance, Claire, my friend, Whenever she wakes up, she never feels rested. Even if she sleeps for like 14 hours on a Sunday, she wakes up and she feels awful. So that means there's something inside with you deeply wrong, okay? She also has psoriasis, which is often caught by stress. 
I don't want to get too deep, but there's something called the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system. The paras parasympathetic makes you chilled out, makes you calm. And as you know, this is my strength. I am parasympathetic. My nervous system is great. I hardly ever get stressed out. But Claire is like the opposite to me. She's literally running on full energy 24 seven. Literally, if I move too close to her, she's like, ooh. <laughs> Cause she's on edge. So again, this is a sign guys that there is something wrong. You need to go to yoga. You need to learn to breathe. You need to chill out. Ready? If you want to. You don't know? This is Adele's new song. It's great. Lovely remix. Aaron, deep sleep, it means when your body is completely rested, your heart rate slowed down, your blood pressure's low, and your brain is actually getting some recovery. That's what it means. Yes, Aaron, you should be concerned about it. So one of the biggest things you can do stop alcohol, stop caffeine. So those are the two biggest things that stop you from going into a deep sleep. And obviously stop eating processed foods. Martin is here. Morning Martin. Are you stepping with us this morning? Literally when you came on, we've gone on to a faster beat. We've got good for you on now. I might get rid of my slippers because they're coming off now. As I said earlier, don't be scared to march in bare feet. <coughs> right, I think I've answered all the comments, guys. I'm just going to scroll back up to see if I've missed anything. Vicky, I think Vicky left a message about sleep there. Right, check in everyone. I can see Helen's still with us. Are you marching Helen? Let's have some more water. I reckon we're nearly halfway there. Right, so we've gone up to 166 beats per minute. Down, 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 down. If you've got Spotify, working out with an artist today called Power Mix. I think Power Mix. Let me check. They've got lots of fitness albums. And the good thing about them is, sorry, Power Music Workout. So on Spotify, if you search for Power Music Workout, it's got loads of slow songs that have been remixed with a dance beat. It's a great for a workout. It's not original artist, which is why Facebook has not pulled down this Facebook Live, because you're not allowed to use original artist. Come on, let's lift those knees. Liam is saying, God, I'm knackered. It's only half an hour. 
As I said, Liam, we are doing some ultra fast songs today because my breakfast buffet is waiting and I can't wait. <laughs> so we are going to be done in under an hour and a half today. Let's check the steps. This album, by the way, is called 55 Smash Hits. Running Remixes. So if those of you feel like you're running, tick. You should feel like you are. We're almost halfway there, guys. 4,400. I'm gonna down the rest of this water. That is only 600, oh, <laughs> 660 mil. And I've literally spilled it all over me. Right, Helen. Right, so slow it back down, guys. We're now at 129, so this is a great beat to exercise in. Helen said, sorry, she's not walking. You're keeping me company while I'm working. That's good, Helen. I'm glad we are. Aaron is saying, I never feel rested. Could it be anything to do with my weight? 100% yes. It's got more to do with nutrition. Obviously improving your nutrition will help every aspect of your lifestyle. Liam, I want the wine glass. It's just too delicate to put that in my bag. Sorry, Liam. <laughs> if it was one of those nice thick gin glasses, then maybe I would have brought it here. But that's not going to last in my bag, guys. Eh? In my bag. Right, so I'm going to fill this up. And then that will be our litre. You'll be pleased to know I did bring this water from the Pride of England. This is Derby water, guys. I like to take a look, couple of litres with me at my water filter. Liam says, one sip and gone. Right, Helen. Helen is listening in. I'm sorting the girls now. Was listening in about sleep. I sleep terrible, always have. I'm lucky if I get four hours, I wake up feeling rubbish. I'm a stressy person, worried about everything. You leave a, a really big comment, guys. I, I can only read so much, so I can only get to there, Helen. I can read more later. But yes, my first advice, Helen, get rid of caffeine. So either go for caffeine free or try and get rid of tea and coffee altogether. Um, and alcohol. So those are the two biggest things. You might also need to try and get rid of sugar as well. And then try and do the things that I said as well about sleep hygiene. So make sure your room is not too hot. Get yourself some 100% cotton sheets, under sheet, feather pillows, feather duvet. So what this does is it allows your body to breathe so it doesn't overheat in the night. It's not just so you feel like an absolute queen. You will feel like a queen, but also you'll feel like a healthy queen, guys. Make sure there's no lights on at all in your room. That's really important, guys. Because what happens is, if you can see a light, a message goes from your eyes to your brain to say it's morning and it starts to release chemicals to give you energy. And as you know, when you're sleeping, you definitely don't want energy. When your body can't see any lights whatsoever, send a brain to message to your brain, the sunset, it's night time, release the repairing hormones release the relaxation hormones and you magically fall asleep. It 
sounds very complicated, but it's actually very simple. This is why we always say, follow the sun and the moon. When the sun rises, get up, do your stuff. When the sun sets, go to sleep. Now with Liam, what I've been trying to do is giving him all his activities and his cooking and his food all in the daytime. And I said, if you want to go to sleep after the sun has set, so i.e. from 5 p.m., then no problem. But if you go to bed before the sun has set, your body will know, it will see the light, and you won't get good quality sleep. Helen's saying, I don't drink tea, coffee, or alcohol. Check. All done. Water or Diet Coke. Perfect. Oh, you drink Diet Coke, so... So Diet Coke's got a lot of caffeine in. A lot, a lot, a lot. As does chocolate. Yeah, try turning the night light off. The other thing you could do as well, if you like a night light on, is to put either one in the, just outside your bedroom door. So obviously if you do need to go to the toilet in the night, for health and safety reasons. And then obviously close the door. Aaron? So it's not always health problems regarding feeling rested. It could be my weight. Your weight and health problems are the same thing, Aaron. Everything is all linked as well, just remember that. But yes, a poor sleep is a sign there's something wrong. Whether it be what you're eating, an underlying health issue. Or the fact that you're just not happy in your life, there's some stress being caused somewhere. I just love using Claire as a case today when she's stressed at work her psoriasis gets really really bad on her arms I just find it amazing how what is happening mentally is shown physically and instantly on your body so if you have got psoriasis Stop buying them stupid creams that cost like hundreds of pounds. Stop it. And work on your stress levels, guys. It's so important. Right, Aaron's 87 kilos. What does Claire do for a job? She works as an assistant nursery manager. She's a nursery nurse. The problem with Claire as well, her mum causes her stress, her boyfriend causes her stress, and then obviously when work causes her stress as well, this is why she gets so upset. Martin? I use rain sleep sounds in my Alexa. It helps to keep the noise outside and helps me to calm down, perfect. So there's a good tip, if you've got an Alexa, ask her right now. Alexa, play rain sleep sounds. <laughs> when I get home, I will try that, Martin. I'm not sure whether my Siri's on or not. Hey Siri. Play Rainy noise sounds. I'll need to access your Spotify data to do this. Is that okay? No, we don't want him to access. No problem, I won't. <laughs> we don't want Siri to access Spotty data because then it will change the music. But we'll try that with Siri later. Let's get some water down us while I catch up on the comments. Morning, Lorraine. We're doing 10,000 steps this morning, if you want to join us. Aaron, I don't know your height, I don't know your age, so I'm not sure. But if you go onto the NHS website, put in all your details and it will tell you your BMI. 
and tell you whether you're in your normal weight range. Siri, S-I-R-I, is the Google Assistant on an iPhone, the same as Alexa. So, what's my plan for the rest of today? Right, let me just answer Lorraine's comment. I'm at work in the canteen thinking everyone will be looking at me. Okay. Hi to Lorraine's friends working. <laughs> as, you got, as you guys know, uh, all these workouts, they're done live on Facebook or uploaded on YouTube afterwards. So if you want to do this at a later date, go to youtube.com forward slash Jodie Bunting. Well, just search Jodie Bunting. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Right, Aaron is 30 years old. He's five foot nine, 87 kilos. If any of you not working out right now, if you've got access to the NHS website, go to BMI, put them details in, and we'll find out if Aaron needs to lose weight or not. And I would say, Aaron, yeah, about 10 stone might be about right. My healthy weight range, I'm six foot. I'm 44 years old and I'm currently 18 stone. My BMI, my highest weight range is 13 stone two. But you have to remember something, guys. It doesn't rely on any big muscle. So anybody that's been really overweight like me, we have big thighs because those thighs are used to carrying around 31 stones of fat. Therefore, we've got massive, strong thighs. So you have to factor that in when you're losing weight. This is why when you do your last little bit of weight loss, don't do it too fast. See how you feel. Lorraine says her goal is to lose a stone before June. You can do it, Lorraine. You can definitely do that. Just half a pound a week. A quarter of a pound a week, that is. Focus on your nutrients. Do a few extra steps, but you don't need to do too much. Aaron, so what is your target weight, mate? Are you looking, wanting to get to 10 stone? No, definitely not. 13 stone two, which is the highest bracket in the NHS BMI. Whether I'll be able to stay there is a different matter. Around 14 stone seems to be my set point. So within us, we have something called our set point. And obviously the only way to change your set point is to change your lifestyle. Aaron is saying, do you find it harder to lose weight now? Yes, because I'm getting older, now 44. My metabolism is starting to slow down. And this happens to us all. We have to eat less calories because our bodies burn off less and less, guys. This is why weight training, strength training is a great idea because the bigger your muscles, the bigger your metabolism. Oh, I'm loving the chat today, guys. We're getting really in depth. Again, this is a good tactic when we're doing these steps. Let's chat. Right, let's get some water. Let's check the steps.
Lorraine's joined the gym. It will definitely help Jane, uh, Lorraine. Don't do too much. Little and often is my key. Aaron, you don't look like 18 stone. The reason being is these. These are my powerhouse. My big, big thighs, which again used to carry 31 stone. So I've got massive, strong thighs. You know those weight machines in the gym where you lie back and push some weights? My whole life, I've always been able to stack it. If you don't know what stack it means, <laughs> it means being able to do all the weights. So I've always been able to do that. You asked me to pick up this bed. These thighs could probably do that, guy. <laughs> I've got the strongest thighs I know. Feels great when you're in the gym, guys. Even you, most of you guys out there who are bigger, if you're morbidly obese, I hate using that word, but this is the category. If you are morbidly obese, walk into any gym, go to the leg press, put it on the highest weight, and I promise you, you'll be able to do it. You'll feel like an absolute superstar. <laughs> this is the advantage of being overweight, guys. We've got strong thighs. For those of you who know about my scar on my knee, I fell off a Wendy house, which is like a little playhouse, a two-story one when I was a kid. And I fell on a gate, and my knee went into the gate. And the doctor told me it was my fat and my strong thighs that saved the knee. So again, there's another advantage. <laughs> If I had skinny, weak knees, I think that knee would have been finished. Right, Tina's saying, sorting out my washing whilst dancing. Well done, that's good. So again, it is freestyle. If you wanna dance with Tina, do what you like, guys. Have a little jig. I'm drinking water while I'm doing it. But you can fold your washing if you're watching me on one device, you could message your friends, arrange your life. I uh, hope that's not wine in that glass. No, Lorraine, it's water. The finest Hilton water. Aaron, so you're looking to lose another four stone. Yes, so I'm 18, I want to be 13. So actually, I want to lose five stone. Last summer, I was down to 14 stone. So I was 14 stone, four stone lower than I am now. Aaron, how long did it take you to lose 12 stone? I lost 10 stone in one year. And then I slowly lost about another six stone in two years. Tina? <laughs> Tina was speaking to her daughter on Tuesday. That's how she got through it. It's a great way, guys. And again, we'll talk, let me finish this water. The reason talking to someone is so good when you're exercising is because it keeps you at your correct heart rate, guys. If you can't speak while you're exercising, you're exercising at a too high a level. When you're exercising, you should be feeling your heart rate beat. If you can just feel it, it's not really banging, just a little bit bangy. And you can still speak. If you can't even feel your heart rate, lift your knees higher and do big arms. Right, Helen, I hope breakfast don't finish before you finish the workout. Breakfast finishes at 10. There's no way I'm missing breakfast. If we continue to half nine, after half nine, you come in with me to breakfast, I'll just take your tripod and off we go. <laughs> Which I know you guys would love. 
Lorraine, you look great. Remember when I first saw you in Egypt in the hotel? Yes. Oh, so definitely. I can't remember when you, what year you first saw me, Lorraine. When I was working in Egypt, I got back up to 25 stone, maybe 26 stone. So a lot of you guys know me a lot bigger than I am now. And again, the reason that was, the two big reasons. When I was guest relation manager, exercise wasn't part of my lifestyle. And secondly, I was living all inclusive. So the buffet breakfast, which is downstairs, was my normal. So my usual day, I'd go and have an omelette, or I'd have fried eggs on toast with butter, a bit of ketchup. And then Lorraine, Aaron, remember the croissant oven. Hot, fresh croissants. You just couldn't say no. I used to have a couple of those with honey. I often used to have some yogurt and honey as well. So literally I was having three breakfasts in one go. And then I popped down for lunch. Lunch was never that bad. I probably used to eat too many chips and rice. But then also guys, remember in the afternoons, we had a pancake station that did fresh pancakes and fresh donuts. And then to be more British, my general manager also introduced afternoon tea. <laughs> oh, it was the best. So I used to have an afternoon snack and then go for dinner. Sometimes I didn't used to have dinner because we were so full, me and the other guest relation girls. But again, when we did go for dinner, too much rice, too much pasta, too many chips. And also, there was a dispenser of drinks, too much soft drinks full of sugar. Vicky, it was the best. It is the best for a holiday. It's just not good for your lifestyle to live there. I'll tell you another story about alcohol in a minute. Aaron, how did you manage to put on four stone again? Aaron, so in the last year, when lockdown ended last summer, I think all of us did. We just started eating more, going out more, doing less exercise. So this is how I managed to put on four stone last year. The good news is, it's coming off. And again, which is really a reason why you shouldn't yo-yo diet, because it does slow down your metabolism. Lorraine says she's off to Ram, Royal Albatross Moderna in Sharm in Egypt in June. For those of you who know Andrea, Andrea is there right now, guys. So have a look at Andrea's Facebook page, Andrea Jennings. There's lots of pictures of the staff, the hotel. I think Vicky knows Andrea and Lorraine. Right, guys. How are we all doing? Can you tell us more about the Moderna, mate? Love to hear the stories. Do you miss guest relations? I definitely miss guest relations. It was the best job ever. Just because I used to, I got to meet you guys. I used to meet so many people. Liam lost the connection. Welcome back. So yeah, let's talk about alcohol. I was never really a big alcohol drinker. And then in the hotel in Egypt, they opened the sports bar with a massive cocktail menu and Heineken on draft. I was obviously not an alcoholic, but me and my friends did used to go and have cocktails most evenings. And when the guests were there, like Helen and Andrea, we had far too many cocktails trying the whole menu. Helen, I'm looking forward to Mexican all-inclusive for my birthday in November. Oh, 
I'm hoping to go to Mexico this year as well, Helen. It's going to be... Can't wait. Aaron, I know Jennings. She blocked me for some reason. <laughs> I'll get her to unblock you, Aaron. Don't worry. The problem is, for those of you who have been to Egypt and know Egyptian people, the Egyptians can be quite... Um, Aaron's not Egyptian, by the way. But Egyptians can be quite obsessive. If they need you, they'll just call you like a hundred times. And I think Andrea's had this quite a lot, so she blocks people very easily. I'll tell her to unblock you, don't worry, Aaron. Thelma, I used to love your aerobics night so much. Yes. We met in Chadderston. Thelma? And used to come to the Alice Street. They were the best classes. Lorraine says, love Mexico, been twice. Helen, come with us, adults only. I always go away in Christmas, so a November holiday is probably not good for me, Helen. I try just to do a holiday every quarter. Which I know some of you won't agree with that because I seem like I'm on holiday all the time. I mean, a uh, proper overseas, all inclusive. Lorraine, this will be my 20th time in Egypt, my second home. Like, even when I went to Spain, value for money, Egypt is the best in the world. If you're looking for all inclusive or if you're looking for a luxurious summer holiday, all year round, especially in the winter. Egypt is the best, guys, the best. The sea, the service. Aaron, do I remember Billy? Of course I remember Billy. Is Billy East the quieter one? Because there was a couple of Billys, I think that, I think Billy's in the UK now. He messaged me a few months ago. He wants to start working in fitness. He doesn't like his job. I gave him some advice. If any of you guys want to get into fitness, the easiest way, which I told Billy, is to work at a hotel gym. A lot of the time, they use unqualified staff. So it's a great way to get some experience and they will train you up and get you the qualification. So that's my big tip guys, if you know anybody who wants to get into fitness, start to work for a hotel gym. Aaron, I'm getting paid too much. <laughs> Let me go back with you on that one. As you know, when I went to Spain for a month, I stayed in an Airbnb. It wasn't luxurious like this at all. At all. So sometimes... My month in Spain literally cost the same as one night in this hotel. <laughs> I think it's about 500 quid, maybe more, to stay for one night in this hotel. Listen to the beat. Lorraine, enjoy your day. You need to get back to work. Off for the weekend. Great. Have a lovely day, Lorraine. Thank you for joining us. I can see Tina's here. I can see Thelma's here. Right, how are we feeling, guys? Oh, yes. Billy lives in Bournemouth. He has a daughter now with his girlfriend, yes. I think Billy was a bit freaked out. So I said to him, uh, are you married? <laughs> you know, I just meant, like, are you happy here? Have you got somebody to look after you? But I think he thought I meant, and he just said loads of laughing faces saying, yes, I am. <laughs> I think he thought I meant I wanted him. He is, of course, gorgeous, for those of you who know Billy, the animator. 
But yeah, he loves girls. <laughs> I don't know why I can't just ask someone, are you married? It doesn't mean I want to marry you. <laughs> it's a normal question, isn't it? Right. Let's open. This is sparkling. I'll have a bit of sparkling. And then we'll go back to still. I love sparkling water. Oh, lovely. Aaron says, don't he just? Well, the sun is out, guys. As I said, when we finish, so we'll give you a little bit of a room tour. If you haven't seen my room, I made an Instagram story of it yesterday. I was so excited when I got in. I hate hotel rooms that don't have baths. And when I walked in, I was like, oh, it's got a shower. And then I was surprised. I was like, yes, it's got a bath and a shower. <laughs> so I was so happy yesterday. This weekend, I'm doing a full London tour, guys. So tonight we're going to the London Bridge Hilton. And then on Saturday night, we're going to London South Bank, which is the brand new Hilton Hotel, which has got a swimming pool. Lots and lots of the hotels in London, especially Central, don't have pools, which is really annoying. Because as you know, I'm an aqua babe. I'm an Aquarius. I need water. I love to swim. So I get to swim on Saturday and Sunday. Right, guys, let me catch up. Aaron, love the girls, all the British guests say no more on the hard rock night there. <laughs> Who wouldn't love the ladies, says Aaron? Me for sure. <laughs> Helen says 2K two sw two swim for you then. I'm not as advanced as you, Helen. I like to tell this little story. When I was 31 stone and lost that 10 stone in one year, I used to go to David Lloyd. I used to just do four lengths and then sauna, steam, jacuzzi. And everyone was like, how did four lengths help you lose weight? You know, it gets your body moving, helps you relax. So again, for those of you out there that don't exercise, hate exercise, that's the sort of fitness regime for you guys. Just do a tiny little bit, a 10 minute walk, five minute walk every day. Aaron, love the girls, all the British girls, say no more, hard rock nights out, uh, I went with them. I think many of you went on hard nights out with the animation team. Right, let's get back to it guys. Beat. Let's check the steps. Ready? Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's 9.10. We're so close to finishing, guys. We're on 8,300. I thought it was about 8.45. We have been chatting a lot. That, the bad news is I'm bad. I'm behind on my water. Let's go guys, let's down some water. Get your drinks. Cheers everyone. Right, so I'm gonna finish this. Oh, great song. If you don't know this song guys, it's called Universe by BTS and 
the weekend. Before lockdown, it, it, the weekend were like famous, but during lockdown, the weekend were like superstars of the world. This song is amazing. Let's go. I love it. I won't knock the table over. So when I'm jumping like that, did you hear? There's not even any banging on this floor. This floor is thick. That's what you get for, well, that's what you pay for guys. I'm literally living in a bunker. <laughs> right, let me catch up on the comments. Helen, 2K, that's her later. Steam room in Burton, yes. The steam room in Burton is fab. Has the Dolby steam room and jacuzzi opened yet, Helen? I heard there were still some issues. Aaron, did you ever go with the guests and animation? Yes, of course. Many times. You remember Anis with his bird Stacy, yes. I think Anis was the cute one, wasn't it? The really baby, young looking one. He was really quiet. Listen, let's turn it up, guys. It's after nine o'clock now. Let's go up to 20. Burton Steam is fantastic and now being mended too. Was that down as well? Aaron's off to sleep. So tired. Thank you for joining us, Aaron. Relax. Sleep. Aaron, don't tune it, turn it up too loud. <laughs> don't worry, it's not too loud, I promise. And as I said, the walls are thick. Vicky Rossa, I so wish I looked closer to you. Don't worry, Vix. You can join us every day online. Many people are happy they don't live next door to me, Vix. They don't want this music banging on the walls. <laughs> Helen, Burton's steam had been out for a few months. Oh my. I look forward, I'm meeting the Aquiladies from Burton next Thursday. I'm sure they'll tell me about it. No, I'm not turning up to 40. Remember, it still says on my booking I'm staff. They'll literally kick me out, Aaron. I might turn it down a little bit now. Just because I don't really like this song. We'll go down to 15. Let's skip this song. Next song. Sweet Melody. Let's see what else is on this playlist. Oh, yes. Right, we've got more of The weekend. This is called Save Your Tears. This is probably my favorite song from 2021. I love it. Turn it back up to 20. 
Ready? Follow the beads. If you want to jump with me, jog. Big arms. Right, this is the quiet bit. Ready? Relax. Bend your knees. Come lower. Get ready to go crazy. Let's go. How you feeling guys? Relax. I'm definitely not turning up to 40. I don't want to get kicked out before breakfast. I can get kicked out after, no problem, but not before. Right guys. Let's check our steps, because we're nearly there. And then we're going to go for another chorus with this amazing song. We've got 1,000 steps to do. Come on, guys, we're going to finish this off in a great way. Get ready. 9,300. Push your arms. A little spring in your step. If you love this song guys, press the love button. This is my favorite song, Save Your Tears. And let me tell you a little secret. During lockdown, I used to listen to this song because it was on the album. on repeat. So I'd go for like a walk for an hour, two hours, and I'd just listen to this song on repeat. And then it was released a few months later with Ariana Grande, and it was at number one for so many weeks. I felt the energy in this song before it was released. It was great. Right, let's get down to business. I also love this song. Helen says it has to be Westlife or Boyzone for me. The last two songs by Westlife, Helen, have been genius. Starlight is my favorite song for this year. When I was walking in Spain, I had the Westlife Starlight on repeat. On Radio Derby the other day, I heard their new song which is called Magic. It's on the same level. It's not quite as good as Starline, but it's good. But let's get down to business. Come on guys. Helen's saying it's one of her favorites too. Right guys, listen to the beat. Lift the knees higher. This is where we need our tissues. Mop your brow if you need to. Let's drink some water.
I've just got two more glasses to go. We're nearly finished. Down some water, guys. Last little bit. <laughs> right, this is my two liters done. Done. <laughs> Let's check the steps. We are so close. These last couple of songs just made us power through. How are you doing, Tina? For any of you who live in London, by the way, Claire's gone to work. I've got no one to go to breakfast with. If you want to come with me, get yourself down here. <laughs> If I told that to Tina last night, she would have been down here on the first train in Derby. You would love this hotel so much, Tina. It's so of your street. Yes, Jamie, we are still going. We're not like Liam, we don't give up. Jamie's just back from the school run. Right, guys. It's time to cool down. Turn the music down. Make your steps smaller. This is really important to cool down. Right, what I'm going to do is change the music. Cool down, guys. Cool down with me. Uh, Tina's saying she definitely would have come with me. Right, let's put on some... What do we fancy? Quickly, quickly, Jodie, come on. Oh, here we go, yoga balance. Right, so this is some relaxation music. Right, as always, guys, we do get a cool down and a little stretch. So we're nearly finished. And what am I saying? Christina has got expensive taste. I mean more, you appreciate luxurious things. I don't know if any of you saw the canapes last night. That's it, we've done it guys, 10,000 steps done. Well done. Let's stretch. One leg forwards, one leg back. But the canapes last night in the executive lounge, there was a meat platter, a cheese platter, nuts you know it's just healthy natural nutritious food and there's not many people that get excited about nutritious food like me but Christina is one of them <laughs> this is why I love Christina so much and thankfully Claire also loves nuts cheese ham which is why I'm so good friends with her so I learned there's many areas of her life that are not holistic and healthy. Nutritionally, she does like these health foods. And not because they're healthy, I like them because they're healthy. Claire likes them because she likes the taste. <laughs> so we're coming on different levels, but no problem. Right, we're stretching our calf muscle. So push all your body weight, bend your front knee, straighten your back leg, push your body weight onto your calf. Right, night, night, Liam, sleep well. Right, we're gonna stretch through the front of the, the back of the thigh. Reach down towards your toes. Don't completely bend down. Keep your back straight if you can. Feel that lovely stretch on the back of your thigh. Change sides. And last stretch, hold on to something if you need to. Heel towards the bottom, knees together, push the hips forwards and feel a stretch in the front of your thighs. It's really important to stretch. 
you want to do some of these stretches later on, remember, especially this one guys, this one's really important. If you've got big thighs like me, if you get cramp in it, this is the stretch you need to do guys. So eat more salt and do this stretch. And I promise you'll stop getting cramped. Knees together, push your hips forwards. So I'm gonna do a room tour in a minute. And that's it. Oh, <laughs> nearly tripped over the table. Thank you for joining us. Uh, let's finish off with a room tour, guys. So this is the view. Um, so Big Ben is just behind there. Don't know whether you can see that. So that is Big... Oh, let me open the curtain. So that is Big Ben there. Uh, I'm not sure what building that one is, but that is something. Uh, you can just see literally like the air conditioning units of the next hotel. So it's not that a great view, but you can see the sun. Uh, you can see a few buildings. There's the city look over there in East London, but it's fine. It's not about the view, is it? The fact that we've got the sun first thing in the morning is fabulous. Oh, I closed the curtain by mistake. I didn't need to do that. Yeah, so this is just a little table and a chair. Uh, this is where you've been all the time, guys. This is my uh, selfie stand, which Claire was amazed the fact I bought it with me. It does fold down and go in my bag. Um, this is obviously the bed where me and Claire slept, slept la last night. I pushed it into the corner of the room so we had more room. This is the TV, which is like the best tea I've ever seen in my whole life. So that's cool. And then we've got the desk, the little coffee machine and stuff. As you can see, all the lights are on uh, just to give you a nice, good quality video. Uh, this is the uh, wardrobe, which has got a little light on. That's my new coat. Uh, it's got the Conrad umbrella safe and all the little bits and bobs that you'd expect in a hotel room this is the weird bit guys look it's got i don't know what that is but it has got a nice little mirror and a poof which uh, the cake thing is on and this is weird look it's literally like the door to a vault look this is the bathroom door look how thick it is it's, like, <laughs> it's weird but it's kind of cool so that is the bathroom and as I said, it's got a shower and a bath, which I'm really excited about. There's the Royal Throne. We are near Buckingham Palace. And that is it, guys. So thank you for joining me. Uh, that was our Facebook Live. There's my little pink toothbrush. Um, and there we go. Right, I'm going to have a quick shower, and then I'm going for breakfast. Thank you for joining me. Uh, see you again tomorrow, live at 8.